Hello, in this video, we will cover Python functions and what are the different type of questions that can be asked on functions. First question is, what is a function and why do we need function? A function is a block of reusable code that runs only when it is called. You can pass data known as parameters into a function. A function can return data too. For example, you have been using length function. It takes in a data type and returns the length of it. Functions provide better modularity for your application and a high degree of code reuse as the same function can be called multiple times by your code. So what are different types of function in Python? There are three types of function in Python, built-in functions, functions defined in modules and user-defined function. There are several useful built-in functions available in Python for which you need not import any library like len, max, min, etc. Then there are functions which are defined in modules which can be used only when the corresponding library is imported. Example math, random, etc. which you have used. And then there are user-defined functions. These are the functions which can be defined by us. It can be a library too. So how do you define functions in Python? Functions are defined always above the point they are used. That's the reason we typically have import as first statement in our program. Function block begins with the keyword def followed by the function name and parenthesis. Any input parameters or arguments are placed within these parentheses. You can add multiple arguments separated by comma. The function definition ends with colon. The body of the function is indented. The function block ends where the indentation ends like for if and for for statement. The statement return exits a function, optionally passing back data to the caller. A return statement with no arguments is the same as return none. If there is no return statement, then that function is called void function. To call a function, use the function name followed by parenthesis. When you call a function, the values passed as arguments are called as actual parameters. The values received in the function definition header are called as formal parameters. Now there are different ways in which you can pass arguments to a function. There are positional arguments, default arguments and keyword arguments. Now what are positional arguments? When function call statement must match the number and order of the arguments as defined in the function definition, it is called positional arguments. Like this function takes in three arguments so you need to give the three arguments in the same sequence. What are default arguments? A parameter having default value in the function header is known as default argument. Like here, we have specified a default value for interest, time. So if user does not pass this parameter, then by default, the program takes seven and one respectively. Do note, however, all parameters appearing on right can have default values. Non-default arguments cannot follow default arguments. Next, let's see what are keyword arguments. Keyword arguments are the named arguments with assigned values being passed in the function call statement. So in this example, user can change the position of arguments as he's assigning them values by name. Another important topic is what is pass by value and pass by reference in Python. You have learned that there are immutable and mutable types in Python. If you pass an immutable type as parameter in a function and the function changes the value inside, then it is not reflected outside the function. However, if you pass a mutable type as parameter in the function and the function changes the value inside the function, then the change is reflected even outside the function. So immutable types are passed by value and mutable type are passed by reference in Python. Next question is what are local and global variables? 
When you define a variable inside the function, its scope does not exist outside of the function, so those variables are called as local variables. Now variables which are assigned at the top of the module are global variables. These variables are defined outside of all functions and can be used inside all blocks which are global. If you want to declare a global variable inside the function, you can first declare the variable global. Now you can use this variable outside of the function as well. Now let's look at few questions that can be asked on functions. First is where you have to remove the errors in the code. Like here, the math module is being used but it is not imported. So we'll import the math module first. Then del is written with D capital. We need to correct that. Then semicolon is missing after function definition. So we need to add that. The function indentation is missing. So we will indent it. Next, the user input is not converted to integer. So we will use int function to convert it. Last in print plus is used instead of comma. So we will correct it. This gives us the corrected code. Other kind of question is where you are asked to predict the output of some code. Like what is the output of below code? Here we see calc function is called with input parameter as 4. Inside the function, first val is initialized to 1, then a loop is set up from 1 to 4. Inside the loop, val is multiplied by i every time. So at the end of the loop, the value of val is 24. After the loop, val is returned back which is printed as 24. So this is nothing else but a factorial program implemented in a function. Other kind of question is where you are asked to write a program like write a function to calculate simple interest which takes in amount, time and rate of interest as parameters and returns calculated simple interest. The default value for time is 1 year and rate is 7%. Here we will first write the function definition where we will give the default value for time and rate. Then inside the function, we will do the calculation to find out the interest. We will then use return statement to return the value. Below we will show how to call it in the main program. In first call, it will calculate with default value of 7% for rate of interest and time as 1 year. In second, it will only use default value of time period as 1 year. And in the third, all the three values are provided, so none of the default values are utilized. If you want to solve more problems like these, you can visit my website for a lot more questions on Python. Good luck! Mm -hmm.